Hi, I'm Lori Wickdahl. Welcome to Lori Out Loud, working on wellness. Um, my laundry's swishing, wishing away, and so I have, um, you know, uh, talk about balance, and, you know, we were talking earlier when we were out having a blast in the rain about dealing with pain and things, and like one of the other symptoms that I have, I have, I suffer from insomnia, um, and sometimes it's pain related and sometimes it's not, I just can't shut my brain down. And it's one of those things where like, man, you know, like friends and PBS can save your life. Um, I watched a show on PBS Living Edens and it had to do with Buddhism and the different kinds of things. And my girlfriend had given me a book and it led me to, well, and hey, I guess when you're looking at nurturing, you know, like mind, body, spirit and stuff, you know, and just, you know, keeping your sanity and exploring aspects of yourself and stuff. And it, it led me to an aspect of creativity. See, one of the things I can, you know, thank MS for in a way, you know, is that I discovered a, a love of art, you know. Um, and so that's one of the things that I'm going to be working on today. I am working on wellness. I'm going to be, you know, working on the creative side, nurturing my soul nurturing you know my uh yeah nurturing my creativity so i'm a self-taught artist and one of the big things <laughs> that i find sometimes is i paint myself into a corner because i do things and they don't necessarily do them in order or do them the right way so i started working on a piece quite a while ago i haven't done a whole lot in the last couple of years because i haven't been well so there again, it's another thing, working on wellness is getting back to one of the things that I also, you know, it's passion. And Picasso said, you know, paradise is having a passion for many things. And, you know, you want to make paradise wherever you can. So this is part of my quest for paradise, you know, because otherwise I'd be experiencing Milton. I <laughs> sure shit would want to do that, right? So, I mean, hey, there again, right? <laughs> it's all how you look at it. So... Um, I did a, there's, I have a Bateman over here who was my inspiration for the piece, and so I did my, I did my sketch, and so when I did my sketch, I, you know, I do my sketches, and then I transfer them onto the stone, right, so, you know, like I make, I make a sketch of what I want to see, and then I make it into a carbon, and then I take it, and I put it on the stone, because that's what I paint, because I have a passion for stone. So, and then I get it on there, right? But once I get it on there, then I'm kind of, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm on my own. <laughs> so, I made, well, not a mistake, because it's all how you look at it, according to Bob Ross. There are no mistakes. There are just happy accidents. So, the happy accident that I made on this piece was, I didn't put the background in first, I put the front foreground in and so I couldn't figure out how to get the forest in because that's where the bird is I see I'm doing an owl right here's my here's my owl and so in the Bateman piece he's in the middle of the forest so what's behind him is a bunch of forest and I never I forgot the forest and, and I just put him in sitting on the branch with the leaves so my solution seeing as how I was house sitting and while I was out there looking at eagles staring up at the sky hour after hour day after day there's an awful lot of blue behind those birds so I decided seeing as how I also discovered in my um I just journey as a videographer with all the mistakes I make pushing buttons when I'm not supposed to and things that when you're editing there is a mirror where you can reverse the image that you've taken a picture of and so I thought about it and I thought well the bird doesn't have to be in the forest with me in the forest looking at it so I decided that I would put myself in the forest and I'm looking at the bird who's at the edge of the forest. So I put a blue wash over top of everything and now I'm going to try and layer my foreground back in over top and when I'm finished I'm hoping that it looks like it's just a milky sky behind my owl guy. So that's what I'm going to focus on today while my laundry's washing and drying and my shoes are drying out and my jacket's drying off. 
so um it's a it's another happy spot in my day so my name's Lori Wickdahl. I know a lot of stuff and I like to talk to people. So I hope you'll come by and find out more about what I know and listen to more about what I have to say. Have a great day. Bye.